Hello. This video is going to show how we can use the Eldray tool suite in order to perform unit testing on a BeagleBone Black. And what's interesting about the BeagleBone Black is it doesn't actually have an onboard debugger. So that makes it much more interesting and more complex. So here we have the, the BeagleBone Black. And in order to, to boot the board, I'm going to use an SD card on which I've got a, a simple U-boot program. And to get the data off the target and also to, to download the program to the target, I'm going to connect a, a serial port to these pins. And then I need to be able to reset the board. And so in order to do that, I've got a USB relay that's going to basically switch the power on and off. This is what it actually looks like. And this is just next to my PC at the moment. And here we can see the USB relay is effectively cutting the power going into the, the BeagleBone Black. And as we can see, I have the serial port connected going back to my PC. Now, I've created a project with uh, Code Composer Studio, and I've just got a single file here. So this is a very simple source file, and I'm going to, to build that. And to build it, I've got a batch file, and I'm going to call gmake. This is going to generate the output file, and then I have to convert the output file to a, a binary file so I can download it. So let's go and actually build this. So there's the build.bat. There we can see that's invoked the, the Code Composer Studio. Uh, and that's built the code. I should now have my binary file here. So now let's go and download this to the target. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, I've got TerraTerm connected to the board. And I've also got my little utility here which is going to allow me to, first of all, connect to my USB relay. And now I should be able to switch the power on. And when I switch the power on, we can see it's now booting with U-boot. And we can see it's now sitting there waiting to download uh, an application. So let's download an application. So go to the file menu. I should be able to do transfer, Kermit, send. And there we have the binary file that we just generated. So let's open that. And that's now downloading it and it's executed. And there we can see that's the output that I was expecting. So that's good. Now let's automate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the power off. I'm going to close this. And I'm now going to close down the uh, TerraTerm. And now I've got a batch file which should automate all that for me. So let's just run that and see what happens. So there we can see it's connecting to my USB relay. It's just toggled the power off and on. It's now waiting for the board to get the, the file. And there we can see that's executed and we've captured the da data and we've got it in the file on the host. So that's all working fine. So now let's do some unit testing. So to do this, I'm going to go to, to TB Run. And inside TB Run, I've already analyzed the code and I've created a, a sequence. And what I want to do is to automatically generate test cases for this function here in Digitowski. Let's take a look at a, a flow graph and we're going to see that it's quite a, a complex little function. And there we can see it has a cyclomatic complexity uh, of 10, I think. And if I expand this, we can see clicking on each individual block, we can see this corresponding code over here. So I want to get coverage of that. So what I've done is I've set up a, a number of options inside here. So I've told it to effectively um, optimize for complexity to try and minimize the number of, of test cases it generates. I want it to try null cases for any pointers. I want it to, um, to do all these various options here. So that's, that's good. Let's go and see what we can do. So I'm going to simply right click on here and I'm going to run a tabular extreme test. This is now looked at the code and it said, OK, I've generated 36 test cases. It's then built it using the uh, the TI compiler. It's now booting the board. So we can see we're booting it from the U-boot. Everything I did manually is now being automated. So it's downloading the executable and that is then going to, to run. So it's 36 test cases. So it's quite a, a large uh, executable that's now running. We've got the results back and it's now created the test cases. And we should be able to find that we've got coverage on these files. Let's wait for that to, to finish and we should be able to see we get pretty good coverage 
for integer to ASCII function. In fact, we've got a 100% statement, 100% branch decision, and 100% MCDC coverage. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRE. Thank you.